It's getting ready to start here in just a few minutes. That's Cindy back there looking at her phone. Yeah, right there. And over here, that's Jonathan, Karen back there, looking at his phone. And right here, yeah, that's Hannah. And look, they're flipping through the ads. And we're all waiting just a few minutes. It's going to start. Okay. Oh, yeah. Brian and Rebecca. Brian. stage. I'll be out in just a few minutes. If I can figure out how to switch it back around. And they're coming for us. songwriting program and uh, how wonderful this is. Uh, it's been wonderful working with Bailey over a series of semesters and seeing him grow and I think of him now uh, as one of those skilled musicians like the skilled musicians that are listed in First Chronicles 15 and then in First Chronicles 25 names such as ASAF, and uh, we meet here to witness the continuation of this very calling, the calling that's on this man's life, and it's so wonderful to be a part of this. Not only does this represent songwriting, what you're seeing here, but also the captivation of putting the songwriting, uh, giving it life, and so he birthed it, but then these musicians are going to help today to express them alive uh, to you. He's grown, I've seen him grow as a lyricist, songwriter, and musician as he's put together all of these ideas. And it's uh, been wonderful and a little bit hard to see that he's gonna be graduating. It was wonderful to see him get narrated. And uh, yeah, it's so good to have you here. And then also writing with other writers in the program. So would you stand together with me as we pray? Father, how wonderful it is to be here on this beautiful day and to celebrate and champion these songs that have been kindling in the heart of this young man. And over the semesters as he's grown and he's been given such, so many wonderful opportunities, uh, maybe the greatest is meeting other musicians like this. But then also to uh, be in recording studios and 
at different events on campus to sing his songs. Thank you that you are the one that we sing to and you are the one who originates our melodies. Thank you for your Holy Spirit's guiding us into truth, whether it's truth regarding romantic love or brokenheartedness or worship of the Almighty God, that you are that wonderful Creator God whose place is in us so deeply within us. And so I pray, sing and play through each. Speak into our hearts, dear Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. So here we go. Give them, give them. Woo! Welcome to my senior program. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of songs tonight. Ten to be particular. Um, so this program is called A Homegrown Love. Um, you know, it gave me a little fist bump back there. But the reason for that, um, the word home has always meant a lot to me. A couple years back, Andy Rozier, who's one of the lead writers for Vertical Worship, um, came to a master class at Liberty, which I got to attend. And he said that every writer brings a word with them into a co writer. And after thinking about it for a while, I I've kind of realized that home is my word that, that I always bring in. Um, and then the other idea is love, which most of these songs, in one form or another, are love songs whether it's romantic love, love for a family member, or even love for God through a worship song. And so we're going to kick this thing off. This first song is called Two of Us. Hope you guys like it. I know you don't believe me when I tell you that you're just afraid.
It's it's very different than any other song in this program. And uh, it, it was a crazy it was a crazy time. <laughs> but you know, that's, that's what you do. It's college. Um, so this song's called Breathless. Hope you like it. Now I can see 
And I was, and I'd never been bullied before, and he was homeschooled. <laughs> and so I was, I was like, okay, yeah, we got this. And, but there was, there was a good story behind it, and I, I won't go into it. But um, it's a really fun song. It's called "Never Be My Old School Bully," and hope you like it. <laughs>
himself the heartache he couldn't avoid. But I'm too late. Would I'd be wrong to tell you? Would the heart breaks me to go? Your songs, your baby, you don't want to change it. And then you learn to co write 
and you don't want to go back to writing by yourself anymore. And so there's power in co-writing, there's power in more heads than just mine. Um, so thank all of you, all of you guys, for your co-writers. Um, and lastly, just a big thanks to this band and the sound people, because it could happen without them, if we can just give them a round of applause. So this song is called On My Way, and uh, if, uh, please do read the program notes for it, because I, I go into the story a little bit, but it's the story of my cousin who fell in love with a foreign exchange student from Australia, and uh, she went back to Australia, and they dated long distance for years, and so it was really hard, and this song's called On My Way, and I, he actually sang it for the wedding. <laughs> I 
all I'm going to be doing. And for it, we're actually going to be unplugging uh, the guitars. Uh, everything's going to be not amplified, including our vocals. And so we're just going to uh, sing this one for you. This is uh, the only song that my wife hasn't heard in this program. And yeah, they're moving the curtains to make it a little bit more resonant in here. Um, this is the only song my wife hasn't heard, and this one's called Moon and Back. And it's, uh, it's a song that I wrote for her. And uh, two, two things that will give you context for this. First off, my wife loves country music. I hate country music. Okay? <laughs> God's funny that way. Um, secondly, uh, she's always had a certain affection for the moon. And uh, like when I look at the mountains, like I get chills. They relax me. And my wife's that way with, with the moon. It's like one of her favorite things in God's creation. Um, so this song's called The Moon and Back. It's written for him.
Woo! Yeah. Thank you guys for coming tonight. It was wonderful. Bye. Love you guys. Love you, Hody. See ya. Yeah, Grandma's in there. <laughs> There's Karen. Uh, yay. So good. Bye-bye.